Hey everyone, in this tutorial we would be talking about the button widget. So I will just explain as I write the code for creating one such button. I will just follow the four steps we discussed in the introduction video. So I'll import Tinkter, I'll write import Tinkter, then I'll declare the window. That was the second step. I'll write win equals Tinkter dot tk and then I'll give in the title I'll write win dot title and let the title be button okay now I'll declare my widget that was the third step adding any number of widgets to the main screen so I'll write button that's my variable equals tinkter dot button and I'll give in these brackets and you can see that there are these numerous parameters that I can specify to size my button or to decorate it. So first I'll give in this master which is about the parent window. So I'll write win. Then I'll mention the text. So it's the text that I want on my button. So I'll write quit because the command that I'd be specifying so command uh, tells you what the button would be doing so that would be win dot destroy so destroy is an universal widget you can not only use it with the window container but also to destroy other widgets like the button itself okay and uh, I can even specify the height and width of the button so I'll write width equals let it be 7 and height let it be 4 okay then I can have the active background parameter so I'll write active background let it be pink so active background is basically the color of the button when you have clicked on it and active foreground let it be purple so that's the color of the text when you have clicked on the button then you can also specify the background color and foreground color let us specify that so I'll write PG equals sky blue. You can also take in uh, the RGB colors, but I'll take the normal ones for right now. Then you have foreground, let it be white. And then you can even specify the font, let it be Georgia. You can give in any font, Arial or Calibri. Then I'll have relief, let it be equal to rich. So relief is the type of border you want. It can be flat, groove, raised, ridge, solid or sunken. Okay, that's all that I'd be specifying, all the parameters that I'd be tell, uh, giving in for my button. But there are more. In place of text, you can even give in an image that would be working as a button. Okay. Or you even have this justify parameter. So how you want to show the multiple lines if you have a text then how you want to show those multiple lines along left side or right side or you want it to be in center so it's basically the alignment of the text but for that you would need to specify that slash n in the text otherwise it won't be treated as multiple lines you can even have pad x or pad y so pad x is for additional padding along the y axis left or right of the text and pad y is for the additional padding above or below the text then you can even have the state parameter to disable the button then you have underline so the corresponding number text would be underlined then you can have wrap length if it is positive then the text lines would be wrapped to fit within this length and then I'll get to the pack I'll pack this widget I'll write button dot pack so this is a geometry manager that organizes the widgets in blocks. We will talk about this very descriptively in some upcoming videos. But for right now, just know that it's for organizing this widget. There are options to this you can give in an argument. We have expand, fill and side. Expand lets the widget take up any space on the master window. Fill is for taking up extra space, so you can specify along Y or X axis or both. Then you have side, it is for top, left, bottom, right alignment where you want your button. 
and then I'll call in the main loop. Cool. I'll write when dot main loop. Let's run this and uh, let's check if our button has the parameters that we specified. So I have my screen and I can see this sky blue and white combination that we specified for background and foreground. And when I click on it, I can see this pink and purple active foreground and background. You can even see this ridge border and uh, you can notice the border width, the width and height of the button. And yeah, okay. You can even see the text. And when I click on the button, the window goes away as in the window is destroyed. Okay. So everything worked as we wanted it to. We could see the parameters working, button parameters working and the widget working quite fine. You can even get an image in place of this text. So please try doing that. It's very easy. So that's it for this program. Thank you.